Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to show you a super simple and straightforward feng shui activation with which you can draw in the energy of next year, the year of the rabbit already now and make use of it. Now I know it's only October and you may ask why this is actually necessary, but if we manage to draw in the energies of next year, it will be easier for us to plan and to get in sync with those energies that will eventually be coming by February next year. So um, the date that you need to mark in your calendars is the 20th of October. And the time is a very specific time, it's 11.39 a.m. So as usual, you don't need to worry about any sort of time uh, conversion and time zones or whatever. It's local time wherever you are. Yeah, the 20th of October, 11.39 a.m. And it will be a water activation. I will show you what type of water you will need later on. It's a very quick one. Yes, yeah, very targeted. So the water activation only needs to be in place for a minimum of two hours maximum until midnight on that same day so make sure that you do not leave the water feature in place after midnight of the 20th of October you can leave it all day and just remove it when you go to bed or just prior to midnight or you can remove it after indeed two hours two hours is plenty yeah so it's not uh it doesn't become stronger just because you leave it there for four hours yeah it's two hours and then you're basically set now, the reason this day is so auspicious is because for those of you who understand a little bit about metaphysics, we have a full uh, fire frame here. We've got the tiger year, the dog month, and then we've got the horse day and the horse hour. So these three animal signs, they form a fire frame. And fire is an extremely important element when it comes to energy ascension, and especially the period nine that we're going into. Um, it forces us to take fast decisions, not impulsive decisions, but to be more decisive and to act faster and stop procrastinating. And I think we can all do with a little bit less procrastination and more uh, decisiveness. So this is one of these dates and times that can really help with that. So um, on that date and that time, you need to uh, place a water feature in the south one location of your home or your office or both. Yeah, you can do it both. I assume you won't be able to be in uh, two places at the same time, but you can do it at home and then maybe you ask the staff to do it at your office. In either case, um, in order to identify the south one um, sector of your property, of your flat or your office, you stand more or less in the center point and then you check your compass. You can have a look at your mobile phone compass or just a regular hiking compass, doesn't matter. And you check where you have the 165 degrees. So usually we say plus minus five degrees. So between 160 and 170 degrees, if you hit it right at 165 degrees, that's even better. But anywhere between 160 and 170 degrees. So you will get a pie slice like this. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put the water in the widest area of that pie slice. Make sure that it's as far re removed from the center as possible because the center is very volatile this year and we don't want to put any water there so, so that we don't upset energies or, or invite energies that just bring obstacles. So just remove it as far away from the center as possible anywhere in 160 uh, to 170 degree range. Now, the type of water feature you need to place is uh, what we call an aggressive water feature. Essentially, what you do is you find a water container that is as big as possible. The color doesn't matter, the material doesn't matter, but it has to be a large container. Yeah, so um, not something that only contains five liters or whatever. Just go to a hardware store and buy one of these really, really large dustbins, for example. Um, so I'm usually working with about between 40 and 60 liter containers for these particular activations as big as possible. And then um, because we need to activate or install this water feature at 1139, 
I would say put the empty bucket into the South One sector at like, I don't know, 10 past 11 or quarter past 11, and then start filling it up with water. Do not place the full bucket into the, into the sector. That's not the way we do feng shui activations properly. You place the empty bucket there and then you just, um, you may have to walk between the bucket and your bathroom or the bucket and your kitchen and just start filling it up until it's full with water. Yeah, not just half. We're not dealing with half buckets in feng shui. Fill it up um, and then insert a water pump. You can get them very, very cheaply in any aquarium store, just a water pump. And what we need to ensure is that we somehow create this kind of fountain effect, yeah? So in order to get that fountain effect, the simplest way is to just get a small PVC pipe and attach it to the, to the water pump. And then it will uh, sprout out like this. This is what I'm doing with my water feature. It's super simple, very cheap. You don't need a complicated setup. Uh, if you're not sure, just take this, take a snapshot of this picture here of the slide and show it to your aquarium guy or your hardware store guy. They will know what to do. And then once you have this set up at 11.39, you turn on the water pump. So it starts bubbling up and it's like a fountain. Don't waste your time or your money on one of these very lovely looking uh, table fountains that they always advertise, the feng shui table fountains, you know, the ones with the nice stone that's turning. There's hardly any water in there. Yeah, we need a lot of water. So these table fountains, they are not used in proper feng shui. They are completely ineffective. They look lovely, not effective from a feng shui perspective. So you install this water feature. And yes, it may look a little bit ugly because it's a bucket, but it's just for two hours. So I think we can cope with that. And then most importantly, the moment you've installed this, you need to actually take action. So between 24 to 48 hours after um, after implementing this feng shui remedy, start making a plan for next year. Maybe it's a financial budget, maybe it's a business plan, maybe it's a sales plan or a sales target plan, or maybe you start making KPIs for next, next year. Start with the planning of the next year 24 to 48 hours after you have put this in place. Because this will then really, really help you. You've, you're already drawing in the energies for next year. You will be in line with the energies of next year. And somehow you will know exactly what needs to be done and how you need to do it. That's the beauty of this activation, yeah? So do it right after this activation is actually triggering all the energies that you need. And if you're a business owner, obviously, uh, you make a business plan or a financial plan. If you don't own a business, if you are employed, make it, maybe make a career plan or plan out the trainings that you want to take, sign up for uh, trainings. If you are a housewife, you can still use this. Maybe you have some plans for yourself, self-development. Uh, maybe you can make a budget for, for your family for next year. Or maybe you are a housewife and you're kind of thinking about maybe doing a side gig or starting your own business, make a plan for that. Yeah, at least start. I'm not saying you have to have to have the plan complete within the 24 to 48 hours, but start. Yeah, taking the first step, that's what's important. All right. So as always, good luck with this. I hope all the energies you need are coming your way. And if you do have any comments, any questions, get in touch with me, leave a comment, share the video with anybody who may be interested in Chinese metaphysics, in feng shui, bata, whatever. Just put the word out and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.